What's up, Easy Bakers? So today we're gonna be making some Easy Lemon Pepper Chicken Wings, you guys. This was so yum yum sauce. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Davinny Freeman, and let's go ahead and be gang gang by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. So here we go. We're gonna start off with some clean, dry chicken wings. I did purchase these chicken wings and cut them myself into these drumlets. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken wings to how I like for them to taste. I will definitely put all of the um, ingredients inside of the description box. And when you fry some chicken, of course you're gonna season your chicken. And with that same spices, you're going to season your flour. You know why? Because you're supposed to, that's just a rule. If you don't season your chicken and your flour, stop cooking right now. So go ahead and get that done and move on to the next steps. So you guys, this is actually my first time making lemon pepper chicken wings. I'm usually not the biggest fan of lemon pepper chicken wings and I decided to make this batch because I had about two lemons over there trying to go bad that I was supposed to make for my margarita, for some margaritas and Fabian got me some lemons instead of some limes. So I was like, child, we, these lemons not gonna go to waste today. Let's make some lemon pepper chicken wings because I didn't want no pound cake or anything like that. You good what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and just mix my chicken up using my hands so I can make sure both sides are covered evenly with the spices. So now that your chicken is all out the way, you're gonna go ahead and mix up the spices that you put inside of your all-purpose flour. Just get that all nice and mixed up so it can be evenly distributed throughout your flour. All right, so now what I personally like to do, I go ahead and just dust my chicken lightly and I put it on a wire rack with maybe i have some uh plastic bags underneath that wire rack to get to kind of get all the excess flour that's going to drip off so you want to do this so you can make sure that you're not having so much flour clumped on your chicken So you guys, this is how my chicken is looking. I'm checking my oil to make sure it's ready. And I would like to let my chicken rest for about five minutes, but my oil was ready. So we finna dump these things up on in this oil. Please do not try to overcrowd your pan. Um, I put about 10 chickens in this pot right here. If you have a larger pot, of course you can add more. And if you're not using such a large pot, <laughs> add less. Rocket science, ain't it? So my chicken um, took about eight minutes to cook, but some of the pieces that, that I cut a little larger took almost 10 minutes to make sure that they're done. So just check on your chicken. And one of the tips that you will know that your chicken is done is because it will start to float up to the top. So you have to listen to your food. Um, the grease would not sound as loud and like I just said, your chicken will start to float at the top. You can have them be extra hard if that's how you want to cook them. Or if you want to cook them normal fried, you can do them like that. We have some of my family like their chicken to be fried extra crispy. Girl, I feel like I'm a short order cook, honey. Any other parents feel like y'all some short order cooks? Ooh, Chad. But go ahead and drain your chicken out to the side and get started on your lemon pepper sauce. This is what's really gonna give your chicken that flavor, baby. So I'm having a stick of uh, salted butter that's in this pot. Then I'm adding my lemon zest, my lemon juice, my minced garlic, as well as some lemon pepper seasoning. I did not add any additional salt because lemon pepper seasoning already have its own sodium and we don't wanna overdo 
the sodium, okay? So go ahead and give that a mix around. I let mine kind of, um, it was on a medium low, medium heat and I let it go ahead and bubble up and cook for about one minute with my parsley and everything in it. And yeah, once that get done, we're gonna move on to the next step. So to be on the safe side, I would recommend that the measurements that I put in the description box that you start off with half of the spices because everybody has their own different type of taste that they like for lemon pepper chicken wings. So to be on the safe side, do that because you can always double this recipe, triple this recipe, take a weight because it's just that simple to make you guys. So now that it's coming to like a little simmer bowl i'm going to use a whisk what i should have been using in the first place instead of my measuring spoon girl y'all could tell these cooks i'm going to go ahead and whisk it up turn my heat off and i like this is my taste test right here so i'm gonna get two pieces of chicken that i have already drank the grease off please do not take your chicken straight out that grease and put it on this sauce you're gonna be eating up the grease so I go ahead and just turn it around, get me me and Davey in a little sample chicken because you know my ace spoon coon is in the kitchen oh, with me. So yeah, and we're just gonna taste this chicken to see if we need to add more lemon flavor or what. So the flavors was nice and good so what I'm doing now is I have a container that I'm going to be using I am using a rubber spatula just to kind of make sure that I get that garlic and everything that's on the bottom of the pan over on this chicken as well because that's where a lot of your flavor is going to come in I'm I still have another batch of chicken frying so I'm only using half of this and I'm going to just go ahead and shake that up. And you see, that's why you need a lid. And look at it, you guys. It is so good, so nice. And that's all you got. That's all you do, you know? So here's the finished product, you guys. I think it was so freaking good. And if you want to be fancy, you can add you a little bit more parsley and add some lemon lemon juice honey on the outside of it honey but thank you guys so much for watching this video i really do appreciate you and i'll talk to you on my next video